In this video, we'll write the electron configuration for xenon, that's Xe. On the periodic table, when we look up xenon here, it has an atomic number of 54. And since there's no negative or positive sign, it's a neutral atom. So in a neutral atom, the atomic number equals the number of protons and it equals the number of electrons. So we have 54 electrons that we use to write the electron configuration for Xe. There are two ways to write this electron configuration. If you're familiar with this chart here, you can use this to figure out the configuration for xenon, or you can use the periodic table. We'll use the periodic table here. I think it's a little bit clearer and it helps you see the patterns that we have on the table. So we know right away when we're writing this electron configuration by looking at the periodic table that xenon right here, if we go over, it's going to end in 5p1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So our last term is going to be 5p6. We already know that from the periodic table. So let's write the electron configuration. We have 1s1, 1s2. S is full with two electrons, so 1s2, 2s2. Then we go over to 2p6. P can hold up to 6. 3s2, 3p6, 4s2. And then we go down to the 3d. And d's, they can hold up to 10. So 3d. 10. And we're going to keep doing this until we get to 54. We have these superscripts add up to 54. These are the electrons. Let me complete this. And whether you use the table or the chart we looked at earlier, this is the electron configuration for xenon. Sometimes you'll see the 5s2 and the 4d10 written like this. This shows a little bit more clearly that 5s2 and the 5p6, that these are the valence electrons that we have for xenon. And you can see this is full. We have 8. Since we have 8 in the s and the p orbitals here, this is a noble gas. In fact, these are all noble gases here. So xenon has this full outer shell. That makes it a noble gas. And it's really very unreactive. Let's write the condensed notation real quick. For the condensed notation, I'd look at the noble gas that was before xenon. That's krypton. So I'm going to put this in brackets like this, Kr. And then krypton, if we look at krypton here, krypton, the electron configuration for krypton, that would look like this here. This would all make up krypton's electron configuration. And we just add this part right here to the end. So this is the condensed electron configuration for xenon. This is Dr. B with the electron configuration for Xe Xenon. Thanks for watching.